Okay, uh, we have here uh, Ronan McLaughlin with us. Uh, for my Belgian followers, you will uh, remember that man. He was a uh, part of the Sean Kelly outfit uh, a few years ago and decided to go full-time uh, working as a coach as well for uh, Dig Deep and uh, a few more things that we find out from him. Ronan, uh, first of all, how are you? Yeah, good, yeah. Um, nice to be landing up at a race again. It's the uh, first race of the season, so it'll be uh, good to test the legs. Uh, you you are a bit in the background now because uh, tell us a bit more about what you're actually doing now uh, to, to make your living. Uh, well, basically I manage a bike shop in Derry, TotalCycling.com, um, and I also do a bit of coaching and also some uh, custom clothing for local clubs and uh, for the Pactimo American custom clothing brand. So uh, life is really really busy at the moment. Unfortunately, not enough time to to train like I used to, but. Um, I was cycling a long time, so it's better now that I do a little bit of work for a change. <laughs> yeah, it is a, a lot of uh, people uh, who are in your shoes, you know, it doesn't pay really to be con continental pro, it doesn't make you rich. No, you, it definitely doesn't make you rich, uh, you don't do it for the money really, um, you just do it for, you know, for the love of the bike and for, you know, trying to make that progression that you, you come in a world tour team or a pro continental team, but um, Unfortunately, that didn't happen for me, so there came a time where you need to make the decision that it's uh, time to go back to the real world and uh, start working for a living. So, But I, I enjoyed my time on the bike and it went well, so I can't complain. Well, yes, we all have been very pleased with uh, your pro career because uh, like at the RAS, when you were here in your home home place, when you came and nearly won, it, won the stage, uh, was a, a, a very disappointment disappoint for all, but we saw a great show and uh, the pictures after were great to see, you know, somebody who tried and just failed in the end, but that's bicycle racing for you, I suppose. Yeah, like, um, all you can do is, is give your all and, you know, um, I like to think that I, I definitely give my all and uh, that uh, Ross and Donegal just it didn't work out and, you know, uh, it wasn't for lack of trying. Uh, just there was a lot of other guys who wanted to win that stage also, so... Um, it, it went well. It was nice to, you know, be in good condition, uh, especially when the race was coming this direction. So, um, although I didn't win the stage, I had some good days in Donegal and the Ross. So, it was good. Any tip you could give to any youngsters who would like to try the cycling sport? Uh, just, um, you know, the most important thing is that you're hard working and that uh, you put your mind to it. Uh, once, once you have that combination that you want to do it and you you go out and you try to do it, then you know, it's it's uh, it almost almost always outweighs natural talent. You know, somebody can have a lot of natural talent, but if they don't have the work rate or the or the belief in themselves or the the want to do it, then it's it's worthless. So, definitely, um, you know, there's nobody who isn't capable of at least you know making a, a good career in uh, amateur racing or moving into the professional ranks. Um, just basically putting your head down. Uh, take, get get everything dialed in, like the training right, the nutrition right, uh, and then you know any, anything is possible. Uh, well, and for my Belgium uh, followers, uh, Ron is here uh, on it explaining on the younger uh, what to do and need to do om een goede coureur te worden. Uh, jullie herkennen hem allemaal. Hij, hij reed in België voor drie vier jaar en uh, zo doen met de Sean Kelly team. Zo doen de Ron en is heel bekend hier en is steeds nog hier een van de bekendste. De wielrenners in de streek, te, te samen met Philip Degnan, uh, die hier ook uit de streek komt. Zo, so, uh, Ronen, vandaag eerste maal uh, dat hij koers dit jaar, maar nu op, gewoon op amateurwijze, omdat hij te, te veel uh, moet werken. Hij, doet, hij heeft een bikeshop die hij moet uh, uh, onderhouden, dan ook nog uh, coaching. Uh, zodoende is heel druk bezig nu. Ik kon het gewoon niet meer maken, maar uh, als een pro-continentaal, je verdient gewoon geen geld. Uh, thank you very much, Ronan. Is there anything you want to say in Flemish to the people? Uh, oh, it's a long time now since I speak Flemish. Uh, uh, well, I can't. I can't. Now you put me on the spot. I can't think. Godverdomme toch? Ah, ik, uh, ik, um, nou, ik heb een grote houder voor van België. Uh, I, I try to say I still have a big love for Belgium. Uh, Ronan said he has a big love for Belgium, and we all do, uh, especially the Belgium project too. Thank you very much, uh, Ronan, for talking to us, uh, and good luck today. Thank you, well. Okay.